So I drilled down up to 8.5 and it's a little bit loose in that bore. But I've filled up with Loctite 63A and now I need to shut the air off so that it dries in the hole. And to do that I use a small O-ring and slide it down and just push that up against the face there. It's a tight fit on the um, ferro rod. That shuts the air off inside the handle there and the Loctite will go off rock solid. But if you had a um, closer fit than that, you wouldn't need that O-ring. I think the limit is about two or three thou. Well, I'd say that it was about seven thou oversize. And if you want the Loctite 638 to go off really quick and ensure that it's rock solid before you're doing any more machining, you can use one of these little um, cooking torches and just warm up the brass. And that one's absolutely solid. And when you're making these ferro rod handles it's best to have it on the loose side and fill up with the Loctite 638 or something else to seal it on there. That's because when these are worn out, you have a much greater chance and um, ease of pulling this one off. All you have to do is heat this up with a blowtorch again until you see some fumes coming off. And then you can actually put this in the vise and pull the handle off and then put a new ferro rod in. So now I'm going to machine the hole for the lanyard on the end here. And because I've got my homemade indexing system, I can lock the spindle. But before I do that, I turn the lathe off at the wall. I've got a notice on there that says, hey, switch the lathe off at the wall to use the indexer. And that's so that I don't accidentally start it up with the bolt in the um, pulley wheel here after I've finished using it. It reminds me to pull this one back. Although, if I did start this up with the um, lock in, it wouldn't do any damage because I've set the belt to slip. Or the belt to slip. And if you haven't got one of these on the Chinese mini lathe, this is one of the most useful tools you can have and easy to make up. You can see how I've made it there. And this one's for drilling crossways, so it's a cross drilling um, adapter or um, tool post drill as I call it. This was one of the first um, like fixtures I made for the lathes and it's been the most useful tool that I've ever used on a lathe. It can do all different um, indexed holes around the diameter with my indexing system. I can cross drill just straight through without having to use the bench drill and I can also do small milling ops with it. And I've got a range of tools set up with these 8mm spindles and the ER16, um, I think this one, or is it an ER11 um, collet chuck. You can get these on Banggood, 150mm long, and then you can just take the tool post off, pull out the one you're not using. I'm going to use this centre drill, so push that one into the um, unit and it's on roller bearings front and back. So now I'll do the center drilling. And lock the carriage. I'm doing it so it center drills in between one of these grooves here. And just use my battery drill on the back here. wind the carriage back, take the tool off, I've taken the battery drill off the back, pull that one out and I've got one that I use for lanyard holes already set up, I think it's about a five millimeter drill and I've ground it down so it's a short stubby one so it doesn't flex at all 
this one goes into my tool post drill and this saves a lot of time because you don't have to keep um, setting up different drills in the collet chucks or in a chuck on these um, tool post drills just swap the spindle over with the tools already preset. And that one's done. And that's the beauty of having preset tools. Like I say, it speeds up all the operations considerably. And now all I have to do is deburr that. And then for the striker you need a good hacksaw blade or an old one but it's um, a HSS one don't use the carbon steel ones because they're useless use an HSS um, good quality hacksaw blade which I use in my hacksaws anyway so these make good strikers Blade down, which when you're putting it on the edge of the wheel, I was it snap. the job done.